Scoops Canada presents The March to YouTube Domination! Dateline Hollywood! A plucky red-haired beauty hatches her plan to conquer the internet by gaining 100,000 subscribers on YouTube. But she can't do it alone! Only you can help her in a quest to achieve YouTube greatness by liking, subscribing, and most importantly, sharing her videos! Remember, it's up to you to fight the evils of YouTube suppression and the evil corporations who want to keep you down by clicking the like button as we march our way to YouTube domination! We have an update on that whole Bill Burr Grammy fiasco from yesterday, and I found a new celebrity to follow on Twitter. Hello everyone, I am Mecca Random 42 the one, the only, the original, your favorite YouTube consumer advocate, Harpy. Yes, good, my microphone is on. Who knows, I'm, do I, do I want to get a Shure mic? Should we, should we get that? Because I've been using the Yeti for years, the cord's an issue, the vo yeah. It might be a little bit out of my, my skill, anywho, anywho. Apologize if the audio's weird in any videos recently. I do have a new cord on the way and I'm trying to fix it in post. Anywho, we have some news and some updates and I get so outraged when I see these little wokier than nows going around just basically preaching pro-segregation at this point. Oh, so screw my microphone. This is what we really wanted to talk about. I was trying not to get worked up because when I yell, when I yell, I get worked up. That's the issue. That's the issue. I mean, I get like it loud. I get worked up when I yell. I can't say it. See, this is this is why. This is why. Now I'm gonna start yelling because I'm saying the wrong words. I didn't know that much about Bill Burr. He's he's just one of those comedians that's like, yeah, he's Bill Burr. He's all right. He's like he's like a like a Burt Kreis. What's the guy's name without the shirt? That dude. <laughs> or, you know, all all the kind of comedians that you see in passing that you're like all right they're all right they're all right they're never they're never the carlins they're never the they're never the big heavy hitters anymore they're fine they're they're fine what can you do when modern day culture is so butthurt over the fact that you exist or have a different opinion you can't say or do anything without getting somebody coming at you without the wokey mobs coming to say something to you and we got to stand up to these people we got to start fighting back we got to start saying something usually usually i don't really agree in getting into a bunch of twitter beefs and spats but sometimes sometimes when when the mood calls for it i do have to get into the twitter beefs and mobs oh yes oh yes who, who's getting it now? Well, today, today, we have some new additions to the ones that we had yesterday that we've already talked about. Shout out to Data Racer for being wonderful enough to, to compile all the, I don't want to read them again. Watch my last video if you want me to read them. There's Bill and his lovely wife. See, see, this is the thing, this is the thing. This is the thing. Just because they hate somebody, they have to find something to be upset by. They have to Oh, 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 that like, that shit right there pisses me off to know it. Just because they have labeled somebody, then they, then their little click, their little cult. This is what proves that they're absolutely out of their fucking minds. This is what proves it. The fact that they immediately go to racial slurs. They immediately go to, and I'm clapping. I have a writing crop for this. Why am I not using it? That's what the writing crop is there for. It is there for when we have to yell about these people, these mobs. We know you guys are all so obsessed with the color and the shade and the interest, intricacies of who can marry who and who can date who. That Ryan Long's video about the woke and the racist having the exact same viewpoints is accurate. It is literally accurate. Who's the latest of the wokier than thous? The wokey wokes, the wokey hate mobs. The latest one. The latest one is a blue check mark. Labor and Griffin. I don't know who he is. We'll see who he is soon. Well, I'm not suggesting Bill Burr is a racist. A white man having a non-white. can sometimes be a sign of ism, so you shouldn't assume someone isn't because they own a minor- Who the fuck do you think you are, Claiborne Griffin? Who the fuck are you? All right, here's the first thing I, t I clicked from him. Of course he's got a guy at gunpoint as his Twitter avatar. Of course he does, of course he does. Because he's part of that cult, isn't he? Of course he is. I'm good at computers and you're good at me. ClaibornGriffin.com, what's your .com? Variety follows you. 
I made a playlist for Ticket to Ride Games. How to monetize outright trolls. You are one, clearly. Clearly, because you're pro-segregationist. Chowder Bucket. This is his site? This is his site. The inexcusable racism in Tarantino's once upon a time in Hollywood. Re, re, where? So you're an easily butthurt, offended little fragile snowflake who we're supposed to listen to. You're so weak, you're offended by what other people say, and we're supposed to listen to you. We're supposed to listen to your opinion. Oh, no, it gets better, it gets better. Just wait for it. You saw the thumbnail. You know, you know Bill Burr's wife has something to say about this. We'll get to what she said. Well, I'm not suggesting Bill Burr is a racist. So this is because Gen Z calling Bill Burr a racist. Bill Burr and his beautiful wife. Which, you know, we don't even need to bring her into this. We don't even need to bring her into th Of course, I call him out with the Ryan Long video of, of the woke guy and the racist guy who absolutely agree on everything. If you haven't seen it, you should definitely watch it. It's really, really funny. All I said is that black men who date white women have internalized racism and white men that date ethnic women are fetishizing them. Guys against interracial dating now. Like, am I being pranked? Did Boomer put you up to this? You're literally, you're literally saying that interracial, like, it, it's not, we're not even reading, I'm not reading into this. I'm not reading into this. A white man having a non-white wife, non-white wife, could sometimes be a sign of ism. You shouldn't assume someone isn't racist because they own. Do, do you really think, do you really think, do you really think that any man owns his wife as a sex, period, period. Take the race out of it. Yeah, you fucking asshole, Claiborne Griffin, whoever the fuck you are. Oh, there's more of who Claiborne Griffin is. He's got a, you, you can go into his little, his little article here, or you can just Google him one more. Claiborne Griffin on the internet, the official website. Follow me on Twitter and my eyebrows. Who is Claiborne Griffin? He's a guy who's a creep who thinks that men own women who they happen to be married to. Based on the color. I ran for public office in 20. I'm glad you didn't fucking win. And his team for digital marketing done right. So he's one of these people who design, who design these media marketing things to, to what? To destroy and, and cause drama, stir up buzz on the air. You're one of the people who have been a reason why things are getting worse and worse and worse. Why everything is escalating. You're one of those people. You figured out that people click on outrage and you're using it against us because what? You're too stupid to know any better. You're too selfish and arrogant. You're so, you're so fucking arrogant. You think that what you're doing is right. You think that what you're doing is the right thing. Will you fucking kindly please fuck off? Please just fuck off, you segregationist piece of shit. Piece of shit. I could say that about you because that's my opinion of you based on what you've tweeted. What you've tweeted. You think, you think, you think that a man marrying a woman outside of his ethnicity, ethnicity, I can't even say it, I'm so mad, is because he wants to own a sex servant. How dare you? How dare, you know what? We'll, we'll just listen to what Bill Burr's wife said here. But short, simple, perfect. She, she said it perfectly. Bitch, shut the fuck up. Uh-huh. That, that was... So she's my new follow on Twitter. <laughs> Who is Bill Burr's wife? I meet Nia Renee Hill. Now, this is an older article from after his Saturday Night Live performance. Who, who is she? After his controversial performance on Saturday Night Live, many people on Twitter started to tweet about his wife, Nia Renee Hill. After Bill Burr's contro perf controversial performance... They said, wait till you all Google Bill Burr's wife, wrote one person. Since his opening monologue included many hot topics about race and women, some teams seem to think that others may be surprised to find out that his wife is black. You know, I never really think about who people are married to. I don't. I assume that everybody is a grown enough adult to marry who they want to choose to marry, and it's really none of my business. But, you know, now that, now that I've seen one tweet of hers in defense of her marriage, you know, I'm like, okay, this is a woman. This is a woman who's going to speak her mind, who's probably going to be one of those people that they're going to be afraid of, right? This is this is what happens. This is what happens. Anytime you get an actual strong woman who's got her own thoughts, they attack them. They attack them. And, and 
I am so tired of seeing this. I'm tired of this zealotry going around on social media. I'm tired of these people deciding that they're going to be offended on behalf of somebody else and throw a temper tantrum attacking somebody who they claim to be an ally of using the most horrific slurs I have seen. It, it just gets infuriating. It gets so infuriating. Who is Bill Burr's wife? Nia Renee Hill, born June 2nd, 1978. She's 42 years old. Hey, me too. Well, yeah, I was born 79, but my birthday just passed. She is an actor, writer, producer, and director who has been seen in Lila Long Distance, Did You Look for Work This Week, and more. Recently, the next Netflix show, Santa Clarita, Clarita Diet. He'll also appeals on, appears on Bill Burr's podcast, the Monday morning podcast, quite often. And it seems fans really love hearing the couple interact. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to lie. Sometimes it's fun to listen in to what the celebrities are like in their, in their real life. Oh, there she's pregnant there. Now, she just had a baby. They just have a new baby from last summer. So they have two children together. And this, this is one of those things. Like, you can say, I, I hate saying things about people that are just descriptive of their surface, you know? Yeah, okay, so she's a she's an actress. She's a producer. Clearly, she's got a sense of humor if she's married to a stand-up comedian. She's got two children. Can we talk about things that are, that you know, I, and I'm not trying to state or disparage or deny anybody's cultural heritage. Please have your cultural heritage. Share them with everybody. Let us know what's important to you. How did you connect to your families? How do you connect your ancestry? You know, how do you celebrate the fact that you cannot help the fact that you were born looking away the way you look or having the family you were born in? How do we how do we celebrate and appreciate that? How do we use that to move together as a species instead of all this division of shit where how where we have people stating that Bill Burr married somebody because he wanted a sex servant? How do we do that? Bill Burr has included his wife in his comedy act before, noting her race in a clip from his special on Netflix. Bill Burr, I don't know if I saw this one, I might have discussed being in an interracial relationship and how it really isn't that different. Now, my wife, on the other hand, she's black, right? Now, I hate saying that because it seems like I'm going to start doing some stupid comparison jokes. You know, those dumb white guy, black guy jokes. I hate those jokes because, you know, they're easy. And in my experience, it's just not been true. 15 years of being with her, there's really no difference at the end of the day. It's a woman. It's going to be the same fights. I don't give a fuck who you're, who you're with. I'm not going to lie to you. There might be more head movement and hand gestures with different races of women possibly an index finger jabbing oh oh I will jab my index finger regardless of how I look on the outside I don't think that's I don't think that's just a that's just a one one ethnic group versus another sort of thing but see but see and now if I were a typical wokier than thou stupid ass motherfucker I would be offended on her behalf even though her own husband is the one like he she probably wrote the joke for him Seriously, how many times do, does do I give Rob a joke that's anti women or something, and I'm the one who wrote it? So, so I'm just going to I'm just going to give her the benefit of the doubt that she's probably funnier than him. She's probably more interesting, and I think I'm a new fan. I think I'm a new fan, and I I, I do want to point out one more thing. Speaking of family, speaking of talking about something other than the superficial BS, I want to shout out Anna, that Star Wars girl, for finding this clip here. That shit. Yeah. Okay. I have the answer to all of that as far as like when it comes to racism and should people be together and mix and all of that. How beautiful my kids are. Yeah. Is the answer. See, that's the stuff we got to focus on. How do we how do we bring people together? Like why attack them? Why attack them? This is the civil rights movement all over again. We're we're trying to defend people for marrying who they want to marry and being with who they want to be with. And Nia certainly doesn't need me to speak for her on her behalf. She's certainly capable of doing that herself. And that, that everybody, perfect, perfect response. Everybody's cheering her on. We know, I know every single one of these people and everybody's just cheering her on here. This, 
These woke people just need to stop. You guys really, really need to stop. At the end of the day, you're just reciting back a bunch of nonsense that you don't understand. You don't understand. You guys are a bunch of 20-year-old people who have never, you know, like, like seriously, not that they're watching this video, not that they're watching this video, but I'm so tired of these 20-year-olds with no life experience trying to tell grown adults how it is and how things are supposed to be. Do you even know how to balance a checkbook? No, no. So then maybe don't tell a grown adult how life is and how to interact with society and how bad they have it. You know, don't tell people what they should be offended for, especially if they are that. Don't tell me that I'm supposed to be offended by a girl with big boobs on a video game because I'm a woman and I'm allowed to appreciate them. I thought I thought me being attracted to girls sometimes was okay. I guess it's not. I guess it's because I'm not part of the, the same little identity cults that these people are. Who the hell wants to be on that team? Who the hell wants to be on the team where that's all they see is the superficial? And they try and outwoke each other and they try and out outrage each other. Anywho, I have ranted long enough about this topic. I am Mecha Random 42. I'll probably have more related to this coming soon. I will see you on the next video, live stream, or wherever. Bye. Thanks for watching. If you liked it, make sure to hit that like button. And if you want to see more, don't forget to subscribe. See you in the next video. Bye. I'm doing it. Funny, funny.